we will discuss what will happen to your body if you drink a cup of milk every day, the benefits you will gain, and the potential health risks. We will also cover how to distinguish high-quality milk from adulterated milk and which form of milk is considered the safest and healthiest. Additionally, we'll explore whether cow's milk causes or prevents cancer and discuss safer alternatives. Let's start with the health benefits. Regular intake of milk improves bone strength and decreases the risk of bone fractures, especially in older adults. This is because milk contains calcium, phosphorus, and proteins. However, the bone benefits of milk are not very long-term. If a person stops regular milk intake, the risk of bone fractures increases to baseline levels after one or two years. Notably, if the milk is fortified with vitamin D, it significantly improves bone health. The second important benefit of milk is improved muscle strength and mass. Milk contains high-quality proteins, casein, and whey, which are easily absorbed and used for muscle repair and growth. Drinking milk after exercise is particularly beneficial for muscle growth. Regular intake of milk can positively affect insulin resistance and help prevent diabetes. This is because whey proteins and casein stimulate insulin secretion, and milk contains conjugated linoleic acid, CLA, which improves insulin sensitivity. For teenagers, milk intake is beneficial for growth due to its calcium, phosphorus, and protein content. It also contains insulin-like growth factor, which promotes cell proliferation which is important for height growth. Now, let's discuss the negative health risks associated with daily milk intake. Diarrhea, bloating, and abdominal pain can be caused by milk because it contains lactose, a milk sugar that some people cannot digest. Lactose digestion requires the enzyme lactase, which many people lack. However, gradually introducing small amounts of milk may help the body adapt and improve lactose digestion. Another important issue with milk and dairy products is that they can slightly increase the risk of certain cancers, especially with high intake. Consuming more than one cup of milk daily increases the risk of prostate and breast cancer because milk contains insulin-like growth factor 1 IGF-1, which promotes cell proliferation and multiplication, potentially aiding cancer growth. This risk significantly increases with daily intake exceeding 600 milliliters. High milk consumption can also increase the risk of ovarian cancer. So, milk may not be perfect product if you worry about breast and prostate cancer risks. But milk is not universally risky for cancers. For example, it decreases the risk of colorectal cancer. This is associated with the high calcium and vitamin D content in dairy products. Now let's discuss how to distinguish high-quality milk from low-quality milk. Generally, both natural milk and dried milk powder should have a similar composition, though dried milk powder may have fewer water-soluble vitamins like B12 and vitamin C. Additionally, preservatives are sometimes added to powdered milk. Natural milk should have a consistent, smooth, and uniform texture. In contrast, reconstituted powdered milk might have slight lumpiness or a less creamy texture. The color should be uniform, without discolorations or unusual tints like a bluish hue, which can indicate dilution. Natural milk does not contain added sugars, adulterated or low-quality milk may have lumps, a gritty texture, or a thin, watery consistency. Watery separation is also a sign of adulterated milk. When pouring milk, if it flows too quickly and thinly, or leaves a watery trail, it might be diluted. To test milk quality, shake a small amount in a separate jar. High-quality milk will create a stable, thick, creamy froth, while adulterated milk will have a thin froth that dissipates quickly or may not froth at all. Letting milk sit in a transparent glass can also reveal quality. High-quality milk stays consistent, while low-quality milk shows sediment or separation. Good-quality milk is homogenized and pasteurized. Homogenized meaning the fat globules in milk are broken down into smaller, more uniform sizes, giving the milk a more uniform texture and making it better absorbed. Pasteurization is a process that heats milk to a specific temperature for a set period to kill harmful bacteria without significantly changing the milk's nutrients and flavor. Usually, milk is heated to 72 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds. The primary goal is to kill harmful bacteria such as E. coli, salmonella, and listeria, which can cause foodborne illness. Or milk, if left at room temperature, will spoil within two hours, making heating essential. 
Pasteurized milk can be kept in the refrigerator for around 5 to 7 days after opening without spoiling. Ultra-high pasteurized milk has a longer shelf life. If you search for milk alternatives, almond milk is one of the best. It is made from ground almonds and water. It is low in calories, fats, and carbohydrates, but also low in protein. It is popular among people who watch their calorie intake and want to avoid dairy and soy products. Almond milk is considered not to increase cancer risk. Soy milk is also considered an alternative if you are looking for vegan milk. It has the same amount of protein as cow's milk, around 3 grams per 100 milliliters, but contains isoflavones, which can decrease thyroid gland function. Isoflavones resemble estrogens and can have estrogen-like actions, potentially fueling breast cancer and endometriosis, so caution is advised when consuming soy milk. In terms of calories, cow's milk contains an average of 50 to 60 calories per 100 milliliters. Almond milk contains 15 calories. Soy milk contains around 40 calories.